there. Uh, yes, I have my Dula Co-op t-shirt. <laughs> I just like threw on a shirt and was like, so I woke up this morning at like five. I've been trying to wake up at five. I don't get out of bed quite at five, but I woke up at five. And then I came downstairs and I am starting to do a like learn to run app you know where it like takes you through a program to like start slow and like work your way up because i got my treadmill and if i'm doing like work work in the morning then i won't do the running part because that's pretty hard to do unless i'm just listening or clicking on things then i could probably run a little bit but um my laptop is actually broken <laughs> it just won't turn on i'm hoping it's the battery because the battery's been pretty much been going down for quite a while um, so I already had bought a battery for it a while ago. We just haven't switched it out because it's a bit of a process. Um, so Jenna's going to do that for me either today or tomorrow. And hopefully that's it. If not, I'm going to have to get a new computer because we know we don't really have the money for it. I have to have one to do my work. Like, um, I technically have a work computer that I'm using right now working from home, but I obviously cannot use that for all of my work. It's my work computer. Um, so I need my own. So I am curious if I do need to get a new laptop, um, I will get a, uh, an Apple cause that's what I have. And I would like to stay with that, but I want to know your guys' opinion on a MacBook compared to the air. Cause I used to have an air a long time ago and it wasn't really functional for me because I do make YouTube videos. And I'm making more now. Again, I'm going to need access to like final cut pro, and different things like that. I don't really care about the storage because I can work off of a hard drive. That's fine. Um, but I just need to know, like, can the MacBook Air now, like, do any of you guys who make YouTube videos or do a lot of video editing, um, you know, work a lot on your computer, do you have MacBook Airs and is that sufficient? Let me know. I would like to know. Woo! It is Tuesday. And... Let's just have a day. So it is gonna be a little bit rainy today. However, I ordered rain suits for the kids. And if you don't know what rain suits are, here, I'll put a picture of like, not my kids, but like what rain suits look like. So my kids are going to forest school um, every week now, which when I first signed up for it, I did not realize that it was an hour one way drive so two hours of driving um because it's through a museum that's like 10 minutes or less from our house and so i'm like oh yeah like didn't even think that of course it's not going to be in town duh so i was just like yes let's sign up i've heard so many good things about it and then like i remember they got like a here's a welcome thing and i goes oh my gosh it's an hour drive one way um but anyway so we went out there on sunday for an open house and yeah they it was raining that day luckily they both have rain coats and rain boots but then like uh they got wet it's a little bit off let's see yeah i'll fix that um luckily they have rain boots and coats but one of my children does not like getting like their pants wet feeling wet clothes on them it's a sensory thing and so of course you know they're in the mud and you know it's raining what so they got all wet so we ended up changing clothes but then they got wet again so we just ended up leaving which is fine we were there for long enough but so I got them rain suits, which is like, it's pretty much like a huge hazmat suit, except it cuts off at the ankle and then, you know, they can wear their boots. So they're coming today and I might just have them in their rain suits, no matter if it's raining or not, because it'll help like, you know, sitting on the ground and if they're dirty or whatever, like it'll just be all on their suit and not on their clothes. So we're going to see today, but today's going to be a busy day. We got speech and OT today. Um, and I'm gonna work, but, uh, I'm currently working from home now, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna kind of like chill out today. Um, and I got laundry to do, you know, gotta pick up stuff. Like this is, you know, just our normal house. Oh, I'm super lucky because my computer died the other day. Like just whoop, wouldn't turn on. And I knew the battery was going for a long time, but I was like, oh no. And so luckily Jenna on their laptop had already replaced the battery before. You can buy a battery for cheaper and then online they have like a tutorial of how to do it. And Jenna's done it before with theirs and it worked. And so I was like, okay, do it with mine. They did it with mine and it did not turn on. Well, it only turned on if it was plugged in. It was like the battery just wasn't there. And so I was like, oh no, am I gonna have to buy a new computer? Which 
that sounds like a great thing, but I don't have the money for a new computer. I would have had to put it on my credit card, which I don't want to do, but like I have to have a computer because I'm starting businesses, I'm doing stuff, but anyways. Uh, so then Jenna looked at it and found out, like they went back, reopened it up, kind of moved things around with the battery, and then it works now. So hopefully this should make my computer last long enough that I actually have money and can afford a computer later. So, all right, I need to make coffee and get on with our morning. on I don't have contacts in it's just that I took my glasses off and I have not put them back on I can actually see relatively good without my glasses on um, like technically I could drive now like could I see what the signs said like a road or something like no but like I could drive probably and not hit anyone do I do it I definitely don't however I might be able to <gasps> you guys look at this I know boring life do you see these? Okay, so I cut them. Let me see if I can show you. Take them out of the, the water. Okay, so you see this rubber band right here and this little one? That's how short I cut them. And we've only let them grow for like maybe three, four days. And like, they're huge. They're huge already. Um, and yes, I do have these rusty cast iron pans, which I should not touch them. Um, and you'll see one here. I'm gonna put this one over here. Um, we actually already have a cast iron pan, which is dirty right now, but I can show it to you. So you have this really big one. Um, and I got that one and cleaned it up. And then someone was giving away these three, which is, this one I think is a little bit smaller than our really big one, a medium and then a small, but they're like super rusty. So right now, I'm working on like really really getting all the rust off of it and like so I can like redo them because if I can get these all uh unrusted unrusty I don't know um and use them then we can get rid of our other pans that we have and just use the cast iron which would be really good because I tend to have low iron just general in life and so this adds in natural iron and these are like nice they're like cast iron you know lodge pans or whatever but yesterday I was cleaning them with a uh, the uh, scrubber thing and of course you know rust was starting to like get on my hands and I'm like oh no my hands are gonna be uh oh uh oh we got a little bit of a uh oh okay just one one moment just one moment hey queen hi pasta yummy my headphones. Um, we are outside, and we just finished up speech. Uh, um, <laughs> now we are eating because 
speech ends at 11.45 and OT comes today at 12.30. So we have like about 45 minutes to get lunch. So that's why today is just leftover muffins that we got from a friend yesterday and some pasta that either has butter or sauce or other sauce that I had from before. So that's that. But I mowed the lawn today. Look at me go. Do you love this hoodie? Okay, wait, look. You can't see this, but. It's from Tomboy X. It's Jenna's. I stole it because why not? They didn't take it. They had to go into work today. So kids are just playing on their swing set. And I am chilling out. Um, like I said, I mowed the lawn. And then we drew some sharks because my child has discovered baby shark. Um, actually, <clears throat> my younger discovered it first and it was on their tablet. And then my older found out afterwards. <laughs> and so they asked me to draw them. So that's what I did. Um, and it kind of looks like they drew a shark too. I don't know if you can Yay! see that in the pink there. It's so cute. So yeah, so today is Thursday. We are just chilling and tomorrow's gonna be Friday, which tomorrow will be the first day of forest school. I probably <laughs> will not be like filming them during forest school because there are other kids and because I don't have the time to or the mental capacity to film while I'm out with them anyways because I will have both kids with me by myself because obviously Jenna can't come because they work. Um, so I, oh my gosh, I almost thought that was a frog. It's a leaf. Anyways, um, yeah, so I have to like, keep track of both of them in the woods with their class. Um, it's only for like two hours, so hopefully it all goes well. It's like an hour long drive, so I'm gonna like find a good audio book and uh, or podcast, whichever one I feel like tomorrow, and put that on and then take a long drive. So Fridays are pretty much gonna be normally we'll have speech for my younger in the morning. Miko has an out school class. Um, and then, so my older has an out school class that they do. And then right after that, we would normally like either eat in the car ride or just eat super quickly and then go. Um, because normally the dinosaur class, the, the out school class that they take is from 11 to 11.30 and then we have to leave by like noon to make sure that we get there in case there's traffic or something happens because it starts at 1.15. So we need to like get there, be able to like walk to where we're going. Um, so like the latest I'd probably want to leave is noon. I don't mind getting there a little bit early and like chilling out in the car or something. Um, but anyways, we'll do that. But this week, actually Friday, there's no speech and there's no uh, out school class because uh, both of them are on vacation. So we did speech earlier in the week and we're just missing the dinosaur class this week, which is fine. Um, is that your baby shark, little? Yeah, little shark. So yeah, so tomorrow will actually be good because we can like take our time. We're not gonna be rushed or anything, which would be nice at least for the first day. Uh, like I said, we did get to go to the open house, which is really nice to just kind of get an idea of what it was like. So, see, it's going to be pretty chill because this is the zero to four class. So it's for like really little kids. So they don't expect much out of them. Um, I decided to keep both of them in the zero to four class just because one, I can take them both at the same time. And two, my older has never been in like any class setting. So if I was just like, oh, I'm just going to drop them off and see what happens, like that might be a disaster. So we're trying this one. We'll probably only do the forest school. It's like June through January, or June through December, and then like January through like May or something. We might only do the fall one because I'm too afraid of having to drive January, February-ish March when there's like way more snow and have to drive an hour there and back. So we'll probably just do one. So, all right, I better stop. Yeah.
background, but does anybody else just love when like, you probably won't be able to see this, but like, lines when you do the lawn. I know that grass, I know that lawns are not good for the environment, but it is really nice when you get lines. And we don't have like a, um, a good, like, you know, lawn mower. This is gonna get real dark, but hold on. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but we just have a, it is. It's a, um, what's that called? Not a push lawn mower, but a, a, a non-electric, non-gas powered. I don't know, I'm sure there's like a name for them, but I don't remember. So, but yeah, we made a little road. So we can take our scooters down the road. It's fun. We got to use it for OT today too, so that was fun and all sorts of stuff. So we're just like chilling right now. Um, one of my children is playing with a water table that has no water in it and it's been put in the garage. I have no idea. Where's my other child doing? Oh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe schnott. Schnott. We are playing with the gas cap. That's no bueno. No bueno. Yeah, so we're just waiting. Just have been good lighting. Ugh. Um, yeah, so we got like a little bench and there's just not much going on right now. Oh, I was curious, has anybody else done this with their gates when they have little kids? Um, this is what we have to do with our gate. Do you see this? And no, it's not on the proper code in case someone's wondering, but we have a bike lock <laughs> on our uh, gate because if we don't, my younger child and older know how to open it up. So we're like super, super lucky that we only have this small gate. Is that showing? Yeah. It's a small gate here. Um, and technically, that side is on our neighbor's property <laughs> so but it was put in before we came here and they're okay with keeping it here so that keeps the kids in and then the other side of the house keeps them in too because it's just like a fence <laughs> like that so they can't get out which is really good and then in the back we have uh fences all around too so they can't get out here so like we're really lucky that the place we found you know, already has a fenced in yard. Um, like, neighbors is all fenced in, all of that's fenced in. So, we're pretty lucky. I mean, and I like, I like the size of our yard. Like, we have, you know, a decent enough, like, you can see, like, we got a pretty decent yard. Like, enough that we put in our, uh, you know, playhouse. We got the swing set, it's not too far back. Um, but we still have like a large, decent area of grass here that if we wanted to, we can like, you know, play games or, you know, set up a table. We could have like furniture and stuff. We don't have any right now, but we could. The only thing we have is our little uh, bench over there from my parents from like a couple years ago. But I think it's a good size and it's not too big. We can still um, uh, mow it without having to get an electric lawn mower, at least so far. Um, it's not the greatest. I mean, it would be much more uniform if we didn't have that, but you know. <laughs> I just went back and hold on. Okay, so I just went back and did a bunch of like uh, weeding, I guess you'd call it. I don't know. Um, so all of this was back in this alley. Like this was all full of plantalones. Uh, I just cut them all down, but I'm really curious because I've never let it really like get that bad before. And when I was cutting it all down, as you can see, my hands are stained. I have no idea what these are, but they're like berries. And I'm hoping they're not like poisonous or something. Cause I already touched them, but like, look, I'll show you. So it's on this plant. And do you see these little berries? 
I will send a picture to my mother-in-law who is um, studying botany. So, or hort horticulture? Horticulture, sorry. Uh, is that the same thing? I don't know. She studies plants and does like landscaping and she knows all about plants. So I'm assuming she will know what this is, but does anybody know what these are? Because I took them all out because I don't want them there. But like, can we eat them? If I find out, I'll put what it's called right here. If she tells me in case you guys don't know. So they're from like this really monstrous, can you see like this part I cut that's like white inside and I don't know what it is. So now we gotta, totally forgot we had this. It was in the uh, thing. So now we're gonna hose it down. Not a clue where my child found these, but we're outside and look. I got the the old person. Look at me. I got my glasses on and now I could take them off. I don't really need to do that too often because I probably need my glasses on most of the time. But like I guess this could be good. Like if I have contacts in and need like blue light or something. I don't know. I don't know what I would use them for, but it's kind of nice so that if they do get like threw off my head threw off my head thrown let's use proper proper english here you know yeah. jenna should be coming home soon uh we cleaned the lovely basketball hoop it's still there uh, we had a little popcorn snack break and we are still outside because it is just freaking Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> no, it's really nice. Happy <laughs> Friday. It is Friday, finally. Look at this light. Ooh, this is where I should do all my videos. Like right now in this light, just don't worry about the kids. I don't need to take care of them. No, I'm just kidding. Um, look at my onions. Ooh, we got to use them soon. And then I got to clean out the water but look at those they've grown a lot um today is friday and normally we have a pretty busy morning um usually we have speech and we have an out school class but to today both are canceled because both people are on vacation so we just have forest school like i said i probably more than likely will not be filming anything at forest school i don't know maybe, maybe i will Maybe I'll try to just do a little bit while I'm there, but again, I'm by myself, so it's not that easy to do. <laughs> um, yeah. So, I might just like, you know, film other parts of it or try to see if I can film something. If everyone wants to like sit for five seconds, I don't know, it's probably not going to happen. I need to get like those glasses, like that, you know, like film everything and then I can just crop out and blur faces and do stuff like that, but I don't have that. So we're just getting out with their morning. I just made Jenna's lunch. So it is in here. I will show you. I'm not usually this type of person. I'm going to warn you. This is the first time I've ever done this. We just got this from our buy nothing group. So I just did a sandwich in here, some carrots, hummus, there's some Pringles, and then I put two of the, the kids' spoons in there. Um, and yeah, that's what I did. And then there's a an ice pack in here, if I can get it. The, the little thing on the top doesn't, it's not really big enough for an actual ice pack. So there's that, and then I just put like a little uh, hand towel in here if they don't have a napkin because uh, we don't buy paper products like that too often. And then this is their coffee. Just watching some relaxed podcast and that's pretty much what's going on. So uh, other than that, we'll do four school today and um, then I need to work for a couple hours tonight and I've just been working on my 
website for my queer fertility uh, coaching slash I am specializing in sperm matchmaking so if you know anybody who needs help finding their sperm donor and would like a service I'm your girl <laughs> I'll leave a link down below to my website. It is up, so if you need to see that. Um, my fertility coaching, I'm still working on that one, so I don't quite have like a whole page for it yet, but you can purchase it if you want. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. So time to just relax and chill, do some cleaning. I am craving, there's a hair. I am craving a quesadilla this morning. I woke up like really early and it's now like almost nine o'clock. I woke up really early. Um, I did my, instead of doing my walk run this morning, I just did walking today so that I could work on some stuff on my computer. So I walked this morning for a little bit over half an hour. And um, so I ate like really early. So I'm like craving eating a quesadilla. So I might make myself a quesadilla. I just really want it. I might do that. Oh, and today, let me tell you about this and then I'll shut up. But uh, let's talk about this. Today is Friday. And I haven't really done any surrogacy updates, um, mostly because I feel like at this point, if I say anything, it's going to be horrendously bad luck. Um, because so far, we have not been doing too well on the, the surrogacy front. So I've been really upfront and honest that on my last pregnancy, I had a few higher blood pressure readings. And due to that, it's much harder to match because the fertility clinics don't like that and so a lot of ones that are more strict are not going to accept that and they reject you so I have been rejected from two clinics and each time that I've gotten the news that I've been rejected it's been on a Friday <laughs> the first time it just happened to be on a Friday um, you know got a text message like hey call me and I called my uh, clinic or my agency and they were like they passed on you and then the second time I got news that hey this clinic reviews on Fridays so it will be this Friday and then I got the email saying they passed and I was like Ugh. so now I'm like waiting on my third potential one and hi um, I'm waiting on my third potential one and it was sent in I think I want to say it was Tuesday or Wednesday I don't know but it's just it always seems like it happens on a Friday so I'm just petrified that I'm gonna get bad news that I got passed on again on Friday and then I'm like not that it ruins my whole weekend or anything but like it's still like man I wish I could just get it like I don't know on a Monday and then like then Mondays suck already you know what I mean so I don't know I'm just <laughs> I'm just petrified that I'm gonna like get the bad news today and then be like okay at this point let's just send my profile to every potential clinic that we can think of and just see who actually would accept me at this point and then we could pick a match from there. Like, that's my mindset at this point. I'm like, uh, but anyways, we will see. We will see. All right. I got to take care of kids. Mm -hmm.